Incognito, what's going on, man? It's me, Bria Janelle, here to break down your post on the corner sports minute. And Devin Booker's buzzer beater against the Clippers is one for the history books. Let's just say this is the third buzzer beater in Booker's career, which ties him with LeBron James for the most in the NBA. And unfortunately, it was against Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Yo, I think PG has a type when it comes to game winners. And sad news for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson Jr. has been ruled out for the remainder of the season due to a meniscus tear. So prayers up to him. And before I let you go, the WNBA players are continuing to make noise in the bubble. And they want their voices to be heard. Now, WNBA players are wearing Vote Warnock t-shirts to the game this week to support Revan Raphael Warnock, who is challenging Atlanta Dream co-owner Kelly Loeffler, who is a Republican for her Senate seat. The last month, Loeffler wrote a letter to the WNBA commissioner objecting to the leaked promotion of Black Lives Matter. Hmm. Clearly, she doesn't know her audience. And I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but in the words of Jay-Z, if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. That's going to do it for me, man. Make sure y'all stay safe out here. Wash your hands. And, of course, wear your mask. And follow me on social media at I am Bria Janelle. Incognito, back to you.